Hi, sixth graders. We're back to our value study unit, uh, creating values on top of shapes to make them look like forms, three-dimensional forms. And then we add texture on top of that, such as this wood grain right here and the tree texture over there and the smooth paint on the wooden boat here. So um, what we did first is we created that linear land. And now after the linear land, we are going to keep we started uh, yesterday with shading in the background, so we're just gonna keep at it every day. We should work on this for approximately 20 minutes a day. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to make this part of the flag right now. And that's kind of like a value seven. So I'm looking at that value and it comes out here and it comes right down into here. There we go. And you know, if you want a straight edge, you can take another sheet of paper or you can take this two inch piece right here and look at how nice that straight edge is gonna be. And then there was this darker area in here. And this came down and this is all dark in here. There we are. And it came underneath the white. Again, I've got that post and I don't want to go over that post right there. So I line up my two inch again. And let's see here. Remember, I always work around the, so I'm gonna draw this line right here and that stops right up against that post very lightly. Look at how nice and straight that is now. Now I can tell that this is the flagpole because it's got actually, it's lighter on this side and darker on that side. So I am going to go here on the right side of it and I am just going to make one nice kind of grayish line here. Let's grab some of that. And that pole goes all the way down onto the boat there. And let's see what that, there, there you go. Look at that nice shadow right there. And I can see the ripples in here because it's got little gray shadows in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some little bit gray shadow right in there. And if I want a nice clean white edge over here, the highlight of the pole, what I'm gonna do is take this, take my eraser, and I'm gonna rub my eraser right along there and that should make a nice clean crisp white edge look at that lovely now i've got some dimension on my pole because i have a uh, shadow and a highlight uh, let's come down and work further in there let's keep working actually up here on the walworth boat itself now this has a direction remember we have to focus on direction also so you can see the direction of the top of the boat comes this way and it's about a value seven with some eights in here so i'm going to take my blending stump and uh, let's see here this wraps around so i'm going to make that wrap around come back through here with my pencil because I'm going to say that's not dark enough. Most of the time students have um, issues with making everything dark enough. Look at how I'm holding my pencil again. I'm holding it so that I get the side. What we don't want to see, if I use the side, watch this, it blends ever so nicely. If I start trying to shade in like this, and go back and blend that. Do you see how you can still see the lines of my pencil? And this one blends a lot easier. So that's one of the main, another reason why it's so important, y'all, to use the side here. And let me turn my page however it's easier for me to work. And I'm going to very lightly come over this. I'm going ever so lightly because we're making like a value seven and that comes all the way down to the first line that I trace there. There we are. And then it gets a little lighter and darker. So blend this, hence blending stump. I am going to blend all this in. I did lose some of the lines, but that's okay. I can find them again and I can go back over it. That's nice and dark in there. I still see this other line. There's the top of the boat. Do you see it's on that same angle? Now this is darker. I can see that line right there. And I am going to come into here and it goes down to this first line here. And let's make this one just a wee bit darker. I use that straight edge to keep it nice and straight. Beautiful. And every day, y'all, all you're gonna be doing is 
working on this. Oh, look at there's a white line right there that I went over and it starts right in between the W. But that white line is in front of this. So let's get some of these lines in here and I can kind of see them and not everything again, not everything needs to be perfect. Here's this line in here. I am going to, it is kind of like a value seven or eight. There we go, that goes down to the Walworth. And here's another line that's a little bit dark and I need to get my straight edge here very lightly. I should probably be using my blending stump for that. So let's just come over here blend that in so it's not so liney. This one also, blend this one in. Perfect. Uh, this one gets a line, but it only comes up to there. So again, use this. And my, my image has a lot of straight lines, so that's why I'm using this straight edge a lot. And then that one's a little lighter that comes up over here. And then, of course, you can always make the shadows. I can turn my paper this way, and I can see. So I'm just comparing notes here. Uh, there's the line that crosses over. This line comes here, so I'm going to draw this one. Very nice. And then that came over there. I'm going to draw the next one. Ta-da! So I'm getting all these lines in here right now. And this one crosses over the top here. Very good. And then next back here, I have one, two, three, four. The fourth one starts right above the Walworth sign right here. And I can kind of see that still. All right. There's the top of our boat there, those lines. So again, today, 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to try to this video seven minutes already, but um, you can see that I'm slowly working my way from the top to the bottom, and I'm going to work for about 25 to 35 minutes per day on this image. Right now, it's only been seven minutes, and I've gotten this much done. I'd say in about 25, 30 minutes, I could get this much done. Um, so these are due again uh, after four days. I was giving you four days to do this. So we started uh, shading on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So let's have these be done and shaded in beautifully with nice directional shading coming around the boat here, coming up the post here, coming around the flag. Texture, beautiful texture in the trees, beautiful texture wherever you have texture. And um, after four days, they should be complete and they should look just alike one another. We are really, um, you know, learning how to use these art supplies and focusing on our technical skills right now. We're focusing on the technical skills. All right, email me with any questions and I'm gonna keep using my time to continue drawing. I mean, to continue shading, adding value to make these look three-dimensional.